My name is Michael Mills. I'm a science communicator, um, biology student, and now native New Yorker of 10 years, but I'm originally from North Carolina and Texas. I want to speak specifically to marginalized communities, queer communities, communities of color, people all over the world, um, and try and get great science content to them, whether it be through video or through writing or through other forms of media. I grew up in like the sticks in North Carolina. <laughs> no country accent, I know, very strange, but I grew up out in the woods and um, seeing all of the like animals flying around and roaming around, specifically like things that would come out at night. So like bats and like deers that would run around at night and, and that sort of thing really inspired me to kind of like better understand the natural world. I did have an interest in being in front of the camera, but it mostly was in just entertainment in general and singing. So I started in singing, I moved to New York to become a singer, but failing at that got me to <laughs> becoming more of an actor and an entertainer in general and a host. And when I say hosting, I mean like hosting events. Like I would like MC, I would go and be that guy on stage like trying to hype the crowd and like, you know, tell jokes and yeah, it's crazy. Tell me something I need to know And take my breath and never let it go I've really enjoyed doing the 12 ACS videos thus far. It's been a fantastic experience. Everyone was very professional um, and then also really easygoing. Everyone was prompt, friendly. Uh, it was sort of my first time working on a project like this, especially in such close quarters with many people. So the fact that everyone was really just nice to work with and pleasant was amazing. It was very informational. Uh, I learned a lot of new things about chemistry and lab safety, being in the lab, working in the lab, and being responsible while in the lab. And I would say that that was my main takeaway from the experience, was, was also something really important, was being able to collaborate with other people, um, specifically like the PhD people that were there, uh, that were sort of like the authority on the script and advising us on what to do and what not to do in the lab. It was really nice to work with those people in a context different from just being the student because I got to relate to them and understand why it was so important um, and really understand the, prioritize, the priority around safety. I think that I learned really how to kind of like operate on camera and talk to people about science communication and sort of do that over and over and over again and like the nuances of performance. Uh, I was really able to sort of bring my passion for, for educating people in my way to the performance as well. Um, I, really, I like to be authentic, so I really wanted to be myself as much as possible, so yeah. I got to use the emergency shower, that was awesome. Regardless of how my face looks while I'm using the emergency shower, it was really cool to be able to do that. I've never done that before. I think having a science background definitely made me more comfortable doing this series because, I mean, even some of the words, you know, like tri, glissa, hepta, bentane, butane, penta, yeah, that stuff is hard. <laughs> and imagine having to like say that from a prompter that's 20 feet away, like 20 times, like at the end of it, I'm just like, it, it's gasoline. I felt really good about the processes that we use to keep me safe during the uh, filming of the videos. I think that we utilize ramp to the best of our abilities while also, you know, working in an environment where we are doing something creative and we have to take some liberties with like camera angles and stuff like that. This was this experience was very similar to what it was that I had to do in class. As far as PPE, goggles on, uh, wearing a lab coat, having my hair tied back, not having on, you know, not having my phone on the on the bench and all that stuff, handling hazardous chemicals, using the hoods. My dream job or career going forward uh, is twofold, I have to admit, but I think it's good to have options in case plan A doesn't work, I have a plan B. Uh, I would love to be in some sort of administrative role doing science communication, um, either for like a community or like maybe a, like a political uh, organization or something like that, really working to develop messaging that is effective to different people in different places. Or, 
I would love to have my own programming on a network or something like that where I'm really focusing on myself and entertainment and what it is that I love to bring to people as well. Maybe not so much in like a strict professional way, but more so in like an entertainment way. If you have a passion um, and you're in class, you're in chemistry class or whatever it is, and you're kind of feeling like, I don't know if this is for me or, you know, I don't know how I feel about this. Just really think about what has inspired you or what really took hold of you when you were younger and maybe follow that and that could possibly help you. If you're really passionate about something, it may be tough, um, but you can carve your own path. You can march to the beat of your own drum. Um, you can take the road less traveled and you will get there. I promise you that you will. You just have to be dedicated to yourself.